Today, I wanna to show you how to delete a background and superimpose it over another image to get some great effects, especially if you're using green screen. I'm gonna be showing you this on the free app, Pixlr. Hi there, I'm Jamie Keat, and welcome to Teachers Tech, where I explore technology weekly. And this week, as I said, I'm taking a look at uh, using Pixlr, free app, to take away the background and replace it, superimpose it over a different image. So if you're looking for other tutorials on this, just go ahead and click on a card in the, card in the top right-hand corner, and you're going to see a playlist I've connected you to, or check the description down below. So I'm on Pixlr.com free app i'm going to go ahead and scroll down and it's going to automatically uh, give me this choice i'm going to launch the web app now i already have some images i'm going to work with here so i'm going to open image from computer and I'm just going to open this green screen option, uh, this green uh, screen photo that I have. Remember, with working with green screen, if you're taking your own photos, the better light you have, the better uh, it's going to. This is going to work easier if you're standing at the right good distances or backlight. All these things help when working with green screen. So in this case, I'm just going to quickly remove the background on this one to make it transparent, and I'm going to move it on to another image. Uh, so I'm going to use the magic wand tool for this one. Uh, I'm going to just uh, I'm going to increase my tolerance a little bit on this one. The tolerance helps me how much to select. I have a different uh, video that I talk about uh, that I talk about the magic wand tool. So I'm just going to select this. Uh, right now I have the green selected and I want to delete the green. Uh, easy way to do this to make a transparent background without copying and pasting anywhere. Just go over here and double click on the layer and now I can hit delete. And now it's uh, now you can see that it's under a transparent background. I'm just going to go ahead and hit edit, deselect all. Uh, you can see a little bit of a green tinge. I could play with the tolerance a little bit more for the example purpose. I'm not going to worry about it too much, but you can kind of try to get a little bit better. Sometimes it can be tricky to get it uh, perfect uh, without perfect lighting, but you can kind of dig deeper into it. So I'm going to, uh, first of all, crop this image because I don't need all of this, even though it won't show up. So this is the crop tool right here. And I'm just going to draw this around here and hit my enter uh, and hit my, oops, I better click this first here, click here and hit enter and it's cropped. So I have this image. I'm going to go ahead and save this image. And I'm going to make sure I save this as a PNG, transparent, full quality. I'm going to just call this green screen 2A so I can uh, load it up here. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. All right, so now what I need to do is I'm going to open up another image that I have of a beach here. So I should have a beach photo right here. So I want to put that boy in the picture on the beach one. So the easiest way I can do this, different ways people do this, they sometimes copy and paste it over. Uh, and you're going to be working with layers. So what I like to do though is layer, and I'm just going to open image as a new layer, and I'm going to go find green screen 2A. This is what I called it. And I'm going to hit open, and it automatically puts the boy on the beach background here. So I'm going to, uh, I can move it around. This is the move tool over here, so I can move him to different places. Uh, one thing I like to do is resize uh, when I move them over uh, to get them to the right size. And how you can do this is free transform. So free transform, you can see now I can grab the corner and move it. Uh, one thing I like to do also is hold the shift key as I drag this back and forth because then it keeps it in the right for, for proportions of it. So uh, if you hold the shift key as you do this, it kind of keeps it uh, looking right. It just will shrink the size of it. So I can move this all around and put it somewhere wherever I would like. And I could add some text to this. Uh, and all I have to do is hit yes to apply the changes. One thing I'm going to do first, you can also notice you can rotate if you grab the corners, if you had a different object, you can show uh, the rotation of this here. So as soon as I click off, it will say, do I want to apply the changes? And I hit yes. So remember, you have different layers over here, depending on what you want to work on. Uh, you have these layers. If you want to move something on this layer, here's your move tool. Uh, I'm going to give you an example here. I'm going to import another one as a, as a layer. And I have a robot transparent that I've used in a previous video. I'm going to go to edit, free transform. I'm going to shrink the size of this one. So remember, see if I'm not holding shift, it sometimes can make it look uh, thinner or wider depending on how I hold it. 
but I'll put the robot over here and notice I have three different layers. So depending on, um, I'll just apply the changes, depending on what layer I want to move, if I want to move the boy, I need to be on that layer here. So at the very end of this, I can save this. I can go file, save, and save it as a JPEG if I wanted to. If I wanted to come back and work on this later in Pixlr, make sure you save it as a PXD and it will keep it as a layered Pixlr image. So then you can kind of go back and uh, keep working on this at a later point if you didn't finish what you're working on. So remember, you can put things like text and everything and create a poster of this. But this is one option with the green screen. Uh, it doesn't have to be a green screen, just that solid color you can quickly take away and superimpose this over another picture. So I hope you like this tech tip with Pixlr today. And remember, I do these weekly tech tips. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. If you're looking for other uh, tech tips, I'll put it in the card, uh, some playlists that you might like in the card. Thanks for watching this week, and I'll see you next time.